I think that this is for the same people who uh, the Halo TV show is advertised for. <laughs> and, and, Who's and that for? <laughs> it, it's for people who are not us who know yeah. what the story is supposed to be. It's a good it, point. It's, it's for your dad who, who like, oh, yeah, I like Spaceman stuff, or I mm-hmm. like the zombies, you mm-hmm. know? Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, this is related to the Halo thing. You know they're making a Halo cookbook right now? Oh, who, are who they now? Who wants that? Oh, you know? yeah. I bet you there's a Resident Evil cookbook out there, too. Oh, that'd be fucking gross. I would not <laughs> want that. What would you make? <laughs> Well, the first thing that we want to talk about today, obviously, is this here Resident Evil Netflix series. They released the trailer. Is that um, the official artwork? That's the official artwork from it. It's yep, indeed. A lot, a lot of bloody bubbles, a lot of yellow. It's like, okay, I can. That, that's fine. Looks so inspired. Far, so far, it's okay. It's it's good. But ah, people are upset about that trailer chat. They're saying this is not my Resident Evil. It doesn't look like Resident Evil. Um, Resident Evil only in name, and maybe I agree with them. Maybe I don't. We'll see, Mr. Trump. Actually, you haven't even seen I've the trailer, seen the correct? Trailer. And I'll be you honest, know. the trailer for the last movie they did, mm-hmm. I love that trailer. Where they uh, where they played that song? What's going on? Oh, with uh, with uh, from the He Man thing. Yeah. That's what I know it from. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. oh, this is this was a, a very poor choice. Yeah. What, what did you What did you just before we kind of go into it? Uh, what have been your general impressions of adaptations of Resident Evil, specifically of the Paul Thomas Anderson Evil? films and the most recent movie? Uh, yeah. Well, mo- I, I didn't see the most recent movie, but in general, mm-hmm. I mean, it's just a total disregard for the source material normally. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, it's zombies? Uh, I guess that means uh, I should make a movie with my wife, Mila Jogovich, and uh, just uh, have monsters? Yeah, it's about right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, uh, you know, yes, I'm not... Th- I, th- I think the first Resident Evil, even though it has very little to do with the original um, property. It's like, it's fine. And I like the third one. And the one that's, that takes place in, in, in Vegas. All the rest of the movies that I have, which I, I have to admit, I haven't seen all of the movies. Yeah. But uh, like all the rest that I've seen, there's like six or seven of them, I, I believe. Not, not great. And then I saw the most recent movie, uh, which is like, oh, this, is, this movie is specifically being made for the fans. Yeah, it's supposed and, to be one and two, right? Yes, which I think was a huge mistake to do. I mean, first of all, they have a very low budget, yeah. and you're spreading yourself too thin, and that was obvious, because I think the movie's awful. I think it's definitely probably the worst of the... I mean, just all, of all these adaptations. Wow. Uh, so, but like, hey, I don't know, eighth, ninth times the charm, maybe, <laughs> with this particular Resident Evil. But, you know, let's let's go ahead really and we can though, react to the trailer. Yeah. Is it a TV series? It's or? a TV series. Okay. Yeah, it's a TV series. It's a Netflix TV series, and Netflix has had such... I mean, the thing is, though, Netflix has, for the most part, had some great successes with video game adaptations. That is... Okay, with you know? video game adaptations, yeah, with... Uh, was it Devil May Cry, or was... Devil uh, May... Uh, it's, it's Castlevania. Castlevania. Castlevania, and most recently with Arcane, which is based off the League of Legends yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. property, which might be talking about a little bit, a yeah. bit of League of Legends today. Yeah, but right. let's go ahead, chat, and we'll react to the Resident Evil trailer. We'll come back with uh, our opinion. <laughs> so, chat, you know, um, looking at this trailer, I, I get the sense that the creators never played a Resident Evil game. <laughs> yeah, that, that, <laughs> because so much of this, so much of this trailer, I mean, again... It's Resident Evil only in name for what I'm what I'm seeing. It looks like Netflix presents The Walking Dead. Like sure, hundred percent. Sure, sure. I can see that. It's like okay, it has zombies. Yeah, you know, it seems to have abominations there and things like that. There's a there's a dog in there. But like, if if you were to, if you if you didn't even have Resident Evil attached to this, like the name itself, yeah, and if you didn't have that those uh, umbrellas and all that, that other this stuff. this image right here, if you didn't have that. Didn't have that umbrella. You would be like, "Oh, this is another. This is another zombie show, or it's a Walking Dead spinoff," as yeah. you were saying. Um, and right, right there, it's like, "All right, here we go again." It's this. It's just another thing where you're just using this very popular video game property, mm-hmm. and you're making all sorts of changes at this point, and just like you're doing your own thing. Yeah. Um, and and to me, it's just like. <sighs> How many times have we have we have we been through this already with all the Paul W. Anderson films? And you know, it's like, yes, we had that movie where they tried to be "quote unquote" accurate, mm-hmm. and, and it was awful. But at the same time, it's like, it, it's 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 a relatively easy concept. It's like it's a haunted house movie with zombies inside, and there's a secret underground facility, and you have these big you have these big characters with these big personalities. Just just go with that. And, and with this, this is nothing like it. And there's only a couple characters. <laughs> there's oh. only like two people. Like yeah. who are who are supposed to be the cops going through this and sure. maybe dealing with like Wesker or something. Yeah, and, and then, this there's there's tons of actors. And like, in this in this case, yeah, Wesker's being played by 
Rance Reddick, who's a, oh, who's a yeah. very talented actor. He's um, in the, he's uh, one of the actors in Horizon Zero Dawn, right? He is. You know, he's he's been he's been in a in a, in a ton of stuff mm -hmm. uh, for years, but he has been cast as Albert Wesker, which is okay, very much going against just the he character. Doesn't look like him. He does. You think? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Chat design. I mean, I think we had to, yeah, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'll be the looks bold like one him, to right? say it. <laughs> That's fine. Like, but at the same time, like, if he can play the part, I'm all here for it. But it, that doesn't look like Resident Evil for sure. No, no, that, not at all. And the, the other part of this too, in case, because I, I guess you're not too familiar with what this this interpretation of Resident Evil is going to be like. Yeah, I don't like. It's taking place in the future. Also, it really yes. looks all over the place. It was. Giving like like I said, Walking Dead, but also a little bit of that World War Z vibe oh, to it. Oh, definitely, definitely. You know, like where it's like, oh, this is from their point of view. This is what it was like for them. And then there's these other people who are experiencing these other things. But it's it's leaning into a weird thing with this. Like there was some stuff in there. It's like, all right, that's that's horror comedy stuff. Yeah. Like there's uh, so I don't know what they're it, going with. For, 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 so the the thing with this, and people don't know. Um, this takes place years after the events of the games, okay? Mm -hmm. And where now there is a new Raccoon City, and the Umbrella Corporation apparently has been able to get away with everything that they've been able to get away with. Wow. So it's like, okay, they've, they've made, made, been able to establish a new city mm -hmm. uh, with a whole new population to experiment on. Okay. Uh, and then you have Wesker, who's returned again, played by Lance Reddick, and he's a soccer dad. He has two daughters. Who he is taking to this 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 new city, this new raccoon city. He's drinking kombucha. Okay, he's talking about going vegan. That's the now you're thinking like, but, but that's not in the trailer. So I received a script for this. Actually, I've seen. I think I received several scripts for the first several episodes of this uh, series. This is yeah. when it was leaking. Like I think, oh God, at this point, like two years ago, a year and a half ago, mm -hmm. and. It's fucking awful. So wait, <laughs> and, and, I, this... and I don't mean to, I don't mean to, uh, you know, judge the series before I've seen it, but I've read it beforehand, yeah. and so I have a lot of concerns about this particular uh, show. It just reading that script, it just feels like we're just taking the aesthetic of Resident Evil, some of the aesthetic of Resident mm. Evil, and we're doing whatever we want. And I feel like, you know, fans were a bunch of battered housewives at this point, just like, all right, I'm get, like, this is how it is. This is how this is how it has to be. And it's disappointing because this property, I'm sorry, is, is very easy to adapt, and yet so many people, for whatever reason, struggle to do so. It, it technically has been done in a lot of ways, but did you say that this is taking place after, like, the game? Yeah, like this? that's what they're saying, that the so events of the, the games have taken place, and there's a new so the Raccoon City incident happened in the 90s. Uh -huh. All right, 98, I believe. That's when it happened. And this is 20 years later after those events. Wow. And Wesker's now a dad. He has two daughters, uh, Billy and Jean, putting them in school. And he's also ahead of the, or he's a, he's a up, he's, he's in the upper echelon of the Umbrella uh, Corporation. That's what it is. And so it's like, okay, that's a lot that we need to just know. It's a lot of exposition right there, which I, has I, me concerned. I totally can see why people are are not feeling this then yeah and also after looking at it one of the main things like i was just thinking about when you're talking about like the history of resident evil like when i think resident evil i think like these tight corridors you know right i right. think atmospheric. like like even very atmospheric like even in the latest one you know where it was like an open world there was always like stuff holding you like very close and like all the footage we saw was like these big fields, you know, and all this stuff. And there yeah. was that, that one rope. Like, look at that. That doesn't look like Resident It looks Evil. like something on a Mad Max, or it looks yeah. like something that's from the Paul W. Sanderson. And I'm sorry, it's it's Jade and Billy. Not that that okay. matters. Okay. But it, it, it Billy Jean. Matter. That'd be funny if it was yeah. Billy Jean. Yeah, it'd be like, so Wesker likes Michael Jackson. Yeah, I, guess. I was like, why not? I think that's fine. I think that's totally okay. Uh, <laughs> but it's, yeah, no, you're right about that, though. That's the thing that really does uh, does bother me, that it doesn't seem to be adhering to the overall aesthetic of, of the games. It just feels like, you know what it feels? It's Walking Dead. It feels like Netflix said, we, Walking Dead, despite what I may feel about, what you may feel, what anyone feels about it, it's a huge franchise. Yeah. You know, those, it's some of the most popular shows They've on, told good on stories. AMC. Sure, fair, fair enough. Um, and they're like, okay, well, we want to, Netflix is like, well, we want to have our own zombie show. Mm -hmm. Resident Evil's a known property. Let's just take that and do whatever you want with it and just put all these characters in various situations where, you know, they're fighting out in an apocalyptic environment, which is like, that's not Resident Evil. No. That's just, that's been the bastardization of Resident Evil that we've seen. And so at the end of the day, it's like, 
Who is this for? Is it for fans? Like, I, I wouldn't say so. I, I think that this is for the same people who uh, the Halo TV show is advertised for. <laughs> and, and, Who's and that for? <laughs> it, it's for people who are not us, who know yeah. what the story is supposed to be. It's a good it, point. It, it's for your dad who, who like, oh, yeah, I like Spaceman stuff, or I mm -hmm. like the zombies, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, this is related to the Halo thing. You know they're making a Halo cookbook right now? Oh, who, are who they now? Who wants that, oh, you know? Yeah. I bet you there's a Resident Evil cookbook out there, too. Oh, that'd be fucking gross. I would not want that. What would you make? I, <laughs> I mean, it was a lot of drinks. Uh, uh, I, I suppose so. Yeah. Like, uh, Bloody whatever, Mary's? Yeah. Bloody Mary's, yeah, right? Or like whatever their chemicals are called that uh, that triggered the whole event. Oh, yeah, the, the T daiquiri, the T virus daiquiri yeah, or something yeah, there like you that. Go, yeah. the, the, you know, the G virus schnapps or something. Yeah. But, but I, I, think that, that. I think that Resident Evil is being used very similarly to how they use Halo. It's just like, all right, this is a brand. Uh, we can pull from this as much as we want. If it doesn't work out, we'll just move on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I and listen, Netflix, they have showcased that we don't give a shit. We will cancel things in a hot minute. And we will spend millions of dollars and forget about it. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's what happens. And I, they have all that money to spend, supposedly. But what about the rest of you guys? You know, okay, so yeah, Julie and I, we're not really hot on this trailer. I know a lot of people aren't really hot, and everyone's kind of coming in there with some really negative opinions. But is anyone particularly excited for this uh, series right now? Oh, uh, let's see here. Uh, man, there have been plenty of these Resident Evil movies at this point that there are probably a bunch of people who have only watched the movies and not played the games. That's true. They just they just know it for the Mila Jovovich movies. That, that's it. And Paul Dibbs Anderson. So, it's. I mean, this is very much for just the mainstream. Yeah. You know? Do you think that maybe, like, whoever was writing this, like, they maybe looked at some of the original game and then they saw the movie. So like, oh, the movies must be right. That's just easier. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. Yeah. You know, it's like, okay, it, like it eventually goes apocalyptic, obviously, even though the games have never done <laughs> never. so. Uh, I admit, that might be the case where you just get this writer in here and say, hey, just do the, the do, this is the cliff notes. Okay, zombies, apocalypse, you get it, you know, it's, kombucha it's, dad, that's fine. <laughs> it's so work. frustrating because like, if you are a fan of Resident Evil, you know that like calling it zombies is a way oversimplification. Oh sure, yeah, I know. Like, the, the most memorable stuff of Resident Evil Eight is like the giant baby or like the doll, you know. Like, sure, sure. Like all those things. It's gotten crazier as yeah, time has gone. Has but gone but on. like none of those things would fit the show that we just saw a trailer for. No, no, I, I guess suppose not. Like it, it's and that's and that part of it uh, that is sad because I feel like you could adapt those first several games very easily you know um it's just it's a it's it's like it's a haunted mansion mm -hmm. with with haunted traps house. and and zombies and then there's a reason why the mansion is the way it is mm -hmm. and things because it's a testing ground for the various virus and they yeah. put the characters in different situations like okay that's cool and then you expand a little bit now it's in a city environment uh and then four we're going international like there's a natural progression to then we can finally get thick mommy milker vampires <laughs> and uh haunted dolls filled with hentai it's like that it's like at that point it's like yeah why not but for whatever reason they can't get that first one right and, it, and it's in incredibly frustrating i think they're just trying to sell t-shirts and just other junk with it because it like they they can spend the same amount of money not get as many actors or even yes. less maybe like yes. imagine how awesome it would be if we got a trailer that was basically Resident Evil 7 of just that uh, the dad like walking around like hoo, 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 where are you going boy that would, that would have been great it would be so awesome and that would be scary that would be fun if they actually decided to do an adaptation of Resident Evil 7 because in a way it's, it was almost like a it was not a, a reboot of the franchise but it was because it was still connected to those games yeah. but it was a fresh take where hey this is a new character that takes place within the world of yeah. Resident Evil those events have happened and 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 but it still adheres to the basic tenets and aesthetics of that yeah. of that or even that original game and even they can't even do that <laughs> I, I just think that they don't want to take the time to to develop and honestly like a tv show like i mean it, it makes sense that they're doing tv shows because the reason they do all these shows is just so they have that viewer retention right and with something like resident evil they're like oh zombie shows work walking dead was on the air for how long yeah exactly like, yeah. I, I bet people over a decade now this. yeah yeah so I, th I think that's the case it's just they, they just want their own Walking Dead, just make it Walking Dead. We'll use the Resident Evil name. We'll yeah, have throw in Wesker, but who cares if he looks like the character or not? I mean, we'll get complaints. You know, I, I, part of me, so because you know everyone's like, well, people are, are calling people out. It's like, well, you just don't like it because he's black. The thing is, I feel like it's stunt casting. That's with, not with even Lance, like, with Lance Reddick, and to me, that is kind of super patronizing. If you're just because you know that that was going to generate a reaction no matter what. True. And and to me. 
that is that is super patronizing if you're just getting Lance Reddick, excuse me, Lance Reddick, because he is a black man for this role. I'm like at that point. That, that, that is really uh, kind of nasty and deceptive. Yeah, because, I mean, it's taking advantage of him at the same time. It is, yeah. Because mm-hmm. it's like, all right, like, uh, you want this work, so we're going to use your brand to try and sell this. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it sucks. There was one thing in the trail, unless you have something else. No, no, no feel, feel free. Feel there was free. one thing that I wanted to ask you about, because uh, maybe you know the series better than me, but if you scroll to the end, there was one really silly thing that I saw. And I want to know what the deal with that was. Oh, you mean, uh, what, Lance Reddick slapping the shit out of this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Keep my poison yeah, yeah, out yeah, your yeah. fucking mouth. So I, I would imagine <laughs> if the, that, I mean, we're going to get that scene where he's just beating up some poor schmuck. That'd be kind of funny. But, but what, what scene are you talking but there's, about? there's a shot with, like, a, a teddy bear that was, like, there Oh, for a that. Like, yeah, what, I, what's I, that? I have that. So what, I can only imagine fuck? that the Umbrella Corporation, even though they somehow made the world forget that they are an evil corporation that's been experimenting on a population uh, for decades and turn everyone to zombies. I guess they're rebranding and they're into because you can tell there's a I think there's an umbrella symbol right where the uh, brand it's tummy right here and so this must be part of their brand or marketing. It's like it's umbrella for kids, but you know th- trust that, us. That seems like I mean if I didn't know Resident Evil, I'd be like oh that must be a reference like because yeah. that looks. That looks very specific. There, there. Okay, so there is like in in the in the games, there's this like the city has this mascot. I forget he's like he's a raccoon oh, yeah, mascot. Yeah, the raccoon. Yeah, the raccoon. So yeah. they couldn't even get that. Right. No, it's like no, nah, let's make it a teddy bear. It's that raccoon bear. It's the same thing, they got right? Hair. That's fine. Yeah, that's that. No, that's close enough. I bear the raccoon. Tail off. So it's a red panda. We'll just we'll just do that. Yeah, it's a combination of all sorts of things. Is it a, is it a bear? Is it a fox? I don't know.